This lecture is on L'Hopital's rule. This rule provides a technique to evaluate limits using the derivative. Suppose that we have one of the following cases. So the first case is when you have, you need to take a limit of a quotient, right? f of x divided by g of x and x goes to a. And then when you plug a into the axis, you get zero over zero. Zero in the top and divided by zero in the bottom. At this point, you can stop because if you have a zero in the bottom, also you have a zero in the top, you cannot keep going, right? It doesn't make sense. It's not the limit. Okay. In a different case, when you plug A into X and X is in the top and the bottom, you will have either negative infinity or positive infinity over either negative infinity or positive infinity. So you can have either positive infinity over negative infinity, infinite positive infinity over positive infinity, negative infinity over positive infinity, and so on and so forth. So either ways, right? If you have, if the functions follow one of the one of these cases here, then you can find the limit of this quotient f of x divided by g of x using the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x. Again, in order to find this limit, you just need to take the derivative of the first functions, right, divided by the derivative of the second function. And at this point, you can use one of the techniques that you have really learned uh, in chapter two in order to find the limits of these functions. And if you stay here, and when you're trying to plug A into the axis, you still get one of these forms, then you can keep taking the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom in order to evaluate the limit. All right. And if your limit is one of these forms, it is called intermediate forms. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to plug A into the axis to see if our problems, our questions, the problems or the limit problems is in is one of the intermediate forms or not. If it is one of the if if it is one of the intermediate form, then you can go ahead and take the derivative of the top and then derivative of the bottom in order to evaluate that limit. All right, let's look at the first example here. So this is one of the special limits that we have learned. We know the answer, right? But then if you wanna use the L'Hospital rule, how can we use that? First, we have to check if this is uh, one of the limits form or not, right? If you don't have the functions here, you don't have this here. By I plug zero into sine, I have zero. Zero into x, I have zero. So zero, zero is the uh, one of the intermediate form. Okay. Then I can find this limit by taking the derivative of the top, which is the derivative of sine divided by the derivative of x. So the derivative of sine is cosine and the derivative of x is 1. At this point I want to, um, if I want to use this, so then I need to let people know that I'm using the L'Hopital's rule. Okay, at this point you ask yourself can I plug 0 into x to find the limits and the answer is yes because uh, you don't have any denominator, then you don't have, you're not going to run into any problem if you plug zero into x here. And the limit is cosine of zero, and cosine of zero is one. So your answer is one. And you know that this is one of the special limits, and you know that the limits of sine x over x is one. But 
if you use the L'Hopital's rule, this is how um, you're going to present your work and how you use the, uh, the rule in order to find the limit. All right, the next problem. So you have the limit of x goes to infinity of e of x, e to the x divided by x squared. So first you want to plug infinity into x's to see if you get if you uh, if this uh, one of the intermediate form or not, right? Square. So e to the infinity should be infinity infinity square should be infinity and then yes. This is one of the intermediate form. Then we can use the L'Hopital's rule to find this limit. So it equals to limit of x goes to infinity of and find the derivative of e to the x over the derivative of x squared, okay? So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and the derivative x squared is 2x. At this point, I stop and I ask myself, can I plug infinity into x is here to find the limit? And if I plug infinity into here, I will have e to the infinity and also 2 times infinity is still infinity over infinity. So this is uh, one of the intermediate form. Again, then I should use, then I can use the last bit of rule again in order to find this limit. So I take the derivative of e to the x and derivative of 2x. Okay, and the derivative of e to the x should be e to the x and the derivative of 2x should be just 2. Okay, at this point, at this point, I ask myself again, can I plug infinity into x? And the answer is yes. At this point, if the limit of the function e to the x divided by 2 when x goes to infinity should be just infinity. This is the example of when you use the L'Hopital's rule two times in order to uh, find the limit. Okay. Next questions. Again, you don't have this. So limits of ln x divided by x squared when x goes to infinity, I plug infinity into functions. I run to infinity should be infinity and this should be infinity so that yes it is one of the intermediate form. If it's intermediate form then I can use the L'Hopital's rule right in order to find uh, this limit and then Again, I just take the derivative of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom. Let's say um, limit x go to infinity, deri der derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And the derivative of the bottom is 2x, right? And you have a fraction divided by um, fractions, then you can simplify it. I want to simplify this function first. So 1 over x times 2x. Is that right? And that's what equals to x to infinity 1 over 2x squared. And at this point, I ask myself, can I plug infinity into my axis here to find the derivative and the answer is yes because if you plug infinity into axis you have 1 over infinity 
right? And it's just one over infinity. And what is one over infinity? You should get zero. In the limit world, one over infinity is zero. So then again, this example shows you how to use the L'Hopital's rule in order to find, uh, evaluate a limit. And after you apply the L'Hopital's rule, you should try to ask first to simplify your function. Second, try to plug the value into the axis to see if you can directly uh, find the limit. If not, then you want to check if the new functions is in the intermediate form, where the new limit problem is one of the intermediate form, if it is, then you should use the L'Hopital's rule again in order to evaluate the limit. Okay. And this lecture is about L'Hopital's rule, how does it work, and how we can use it in order to evaluate limits.